In this video, I'll teach you how to intentionally plan for overtime work for the resources in your Microsoft Project schedules. Some years ago, there was a really interesting question from a user in one of the public user forums on Microsoft Project. This user wanted to know how to plan for overtime work for some of the tasks in the project, but not all of them. This user said that the resource will work eight hours normally on most tasks, but on some tasks will need to work 10 hours a day and on other tasks 12 hours a day. But the problem is the user did not want to over allocate that resource. Well, the solution to this problem is intentionally planning for overtime work. And in this video, I'll teach you how to do that very thing. So let's get started. There was an interesting question recently in one of the Microsoft Project user forums on the internet. This particular user wanted to know how to assign resources to certain tasks at eight hours per day to other tasks at 10 hours per day and to still other tasks at 12 hours per day. But the user stated that the team members would normally work eight hours per day on tasks unless indicated otherwise. Now I'm going to add one more wrinkle to this question. I would also like Microsoft Project to calculate the additional cost of overtime work that is greater than eight hours per day. And I want that overtime work to be costed at an overtime rate. So let me first take a look with you to show you that I've got three team members, James Nolan, assigned to work eight hours a day on the first task. It's got a duration of 10 days, total work, eight hours. It's the same for Lane Anderson on the second task. And for Warren Blackbeard, he's assigned currently to work eight hours a day for nine days. Let me first show you how I set up this project so that I can track overtime work. If I go to the resource sheet view, I want you to notice that for James, Lane, and Warren, they each have a standard rate of $50 an hour. That's for work that is eight hours or less per day. And they each have an overtime rate of $75. That should be used for costing any overtime work that exceeds eight hours per day. I want you to know that there's actually two wrong methods for meeting this scheduling need. Let's go ahead and take a look at the task usage view, which I've configured in a custom way to show you the right way and the wrong way to meet these scheduling needs. Now, if we take a look at James Nolan's assignment, we can see that the task he's assigned to has a duration of 10 days. There's 80 hours of work assigned on this task. Those hours belong to James Nolan. Of those 80 hours, all 80 represent regular or non-overtime work, and there are no hours of overtime work currently scheduled. Also notice the cost of this task is $4,000. For James, that is 80 hours of work multiplied by $50 an hour. Also notice over in the time phased grid, I see the total amount of work per day is eight hours. Each of those eight hour work days is regular or non-overtime work. 
Again, you can see there is no overtime work currently scheduled, and the daily cost of his work is $400 per day. That's eight hours per day times $50 per hour, and that gives us a cost rate per day of $400. I have exactly the same situation for Lane Anderson. Again, 10-day duration, 80 hours of work, all the work is regular work, no overtime work, the cost is $4,000 for the task. Over in the time phase grid, again, I can see work of eight hours a day, all of which is regular or non-overtime work, costed at $50 per hour, 8 times 50 is a daily cost of $400. Now, I mentioned there's two wrong ways to meet this scheduling need. The first wrong method would be to apply a task calendar that specifies work to be done at 10 hours per day. Here's the first wrong way. If I double click this task, then I go to the Advanced tab. I can see there is a Calendar Pick List button where I can choose a custom calendar I created for this example that does schedule work at 10 hours per day. I do need to select the checkbox, Scheduling Ignores Resource Calendars. And when I click the OK button, hmm, here's what I see. I see the work is scheduled at 10 hours per day. That is what I wanted. But all of the work is considered regular work at 10 hours per day. And it's costed at $50 per hour. Where's that overtime rate coming into play? Well, because I did it wrong, it's not going to cost overtime work the way I wanted. Also, not to hurt your feelings or anything, but by using this method, the resource, Lane Anderson, is now over allocated. Hey, that's not what I wanted. So let's click the undo button. Another method that some folks might want to try to use would be to do this. To go into the split screen view where at the bottom I can see the task form. And in the task form, to go to the units column for Lane Anderson's assignment and just to type in his units at 125%. What that indicates is 125% of a normal eight-hour day, 125% times eight is a 10-hour day. So if I click the OK button, and let me go ahead and close that form, I want you to see it's still not working right. I can still see that all of the work hours assigned to Lane Anderson on this task are 10 hours per day of regular work. Again, overtime work is not being calculated. And once again, on this task, Lane is shown as over allocated. That is not what I want. So I'll click Undo again and again. So here's the deal. If you want Microsoft Project to correctly cost overtime work, you have to tell it exactly how much overtime work your resource will be performing on a task. Microsoft Project doesn't automatically cost work greater than eight hours a day. You've seen that now with your own eyes. So let me show you the correct method to solve both of the requirements for the problem I stated at the beginning of the video. Here's what I need to do. I'm going to right mouse click in the task form pane 
and on the shortcut menu, I'll choose the Work set of details. Notice, interestingly enough, there is a column in the task form pane called Overtime Work. This is where I can tell Microsoft Project exactly how much of the 80 hours of work will be performed in excess of eight hours per day as overtime work. Now, one thing you're not going to know right off the bat is how many hours of overtime work to enter. Um, an approach that I personally use in a situation like this is just to type in any number to see if we're close. So I'll put in 12 hours of overtime work. So let's see how this is working out. Yes, we're getting close. Lane is now assigned to work 9.41 hours per day. That's eight hours of regular work and 1.41 hours of overtime work. Let's try another number. Let me put in this time 16 hours. And I'll click the OK button. Now there's a couple of immediate consequences. One, we've got 10 hours of work scheduled as desired. That's eight hours a day of regular work, two hours a day of overtime work for each day over the life of the task. Also notice a side benefit is the duration value has been recalculated from the original 10 days duration down to eight days duration. Why? The team member, Lane Anderson, is able to do more work per day, which shortens the duration of the task. Also notice the daily cost for each day of Lane's work is now $550 per day. That is calculated by Microsoft Project as eight hours per day times $50 per hour and two hours per day at $75 per hour, which gives us a total cost per day of $550, and it gives us a total cost for the task of $4,400. Now let's do it again, this time for Warren Blackbeard. Let me just tell you that to spare you the madness, I've already figured out in advance for Warren to work 12 hours per day that will require 24 hours of overtime work. So when I click the OK button, yes, I can see the immediate results. 12 hours of work per day, that's eight hours regular work, four hours of overtime work per day. Also notice a side benefit is the duration has been shortened to only six days. Why? That's because Warren can work longer days to get the work done on this task. Also notice that Microsoft Project calculates the daily cost for this task at $700 per day. That's eight hours times $50 an hour, four hours times $75 an hour, gives us a daily cost of $700 per day, and for the entire task, a total cost of $4,200. So this is the only correct solution for the problem I addressed at the beginning of the video where I had two requirements. The team member either needs to work 10 hours per day or 12 hours per day and we needed Microsoft Project to calculate the overtime cost for those two situations. There you have it. 
Now you know how to intentionally plan for overtime work for the resources in your Microsoft Project schedules. If you found this video to be helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and maybe even leave a comment. If you'd like to hire me to train the project managers and schedulers in your organization on Microsoft Project, please leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you right away on that. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.